Hello and welcome everybody. My name's Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks for joining me today for the Aquarius September horoscope. Well, there's a few things happening this month uh, for everybody and for you, awesome Aquarius, and a few other star signs. There's a thing called a yod. Uh, that's one name for it. Another name is the finger of fate or the finger of God. And uh, this is all about karma and fate. And uh, you're making adjustments this month to your fate. So it is a bit exciting. Uh, it's a bit challenging also. We have uh, Saturn in uh, your sign, Aquarius, in uh the first house so Saturn in Aquarius in the first house your sign so uh, with this there could be a, a bit of a conservatism or uh, a cautious attitude uh, perhaps you're sort of reviewing your identity and uh, it may soon be time to come out of the shadows a little bit and radiate out into the world this finger of fate is also involved with the sun in Virgo in your eighth house of shared resources and uh, also intimacy. And maybe you had a cautious approach uh, in some way to intimacy or finances. Uh, you know, how is your financial life going? Uh, perhaps you have been a little bit nervous about your finances in some way. The other aspect of this is uh, the moon in Cancer in your sixth house of everyday life, health and uh, also everyday work and well-being. And uh, perhaps there's some nurturance there or some sort of protective uh, quality, something protecting you. Uh, against the stresses and traumas of the world but we'll talk more about this in a moment when uh, I come to do your horoscope also the other thing is that Mercury is going retrograde from the 28th of the month to the 18th of October and either side of these dates there are a few days where the energy is coming on or going off that's called the shadow period Mercury is in your ninth house of the higher mind so studies could be perhaps disrupted in some way or there's misunderstanding or some way that you wanted to grow your life and expand has been curtailed and there's some delays around it so uh, just be very cautious in the way that you communicate you want to double check everything because uh, with mercury retrograde things do get a bit um, confused or perhaps you go through a vague period uh, there can be misunderstandings and miscommunications also uh, uh, technology can play up uh, so do back up all your devices it is a great time to complete anything that you started uh, doing before mercury went uh, retrograde uh, and it's a time of consolidation so if you know you have some old jobs hanging around that you haven't done and they're just been sitting there rather than starting new things it'll be great to finish off what you've already started okay let's go to the board now and I'm going to draw two cards this is your horoscope we'll come to in a moment uh, but I'm going to draw two cards right now which can represent the first half and the second half of the month we'll have a look at your horoscope and then I'll do a psychic channeling at the end all right so going with this one on top um, right I'm closing my eyes okay so this is confusing because there's lots of doors opening up in front of me so doors are always about opportunities uh, new directions in life these are all on the right side like a corridor I'm walking down with all these doors on the right side which opportunity will you take because they're on the right side they're probably involving analytical thinking in some way something you've got to think about uh, and um, they go off in all manner of directions they're quite different so this this month especially it's like things are opening up for you the biggest challenge is determining which way you're going to go the uh how appropriate <laughs> the card that comes out is the fool take a risk step out where are you going to step out to 
somebody either part of yourself or somebody that you know in your external world is trying to hold you back from taking a risk on something but action does need to be taken because she's got red legs here green for opportunity and uh, you'll see here she's sort of um, stepping out from a promontory and there's ocean down here when you step off uh, you can either sink to the bottom of the ocean and perhaps you'll find something interesting there like a sunken treasure or something or you can sprout wings and fly but you won't know until you try to do it and there's no such thing as failure uh, even if uh, you know you're not sure about something if it's nagging and nagging and nagging all you can do is have it have you know do some research if you satisfy yourself in that research uh, period of time then the next thing you eventually you've got to just bite the bullet and do it and even if it doesn't work out you will have learnt something and then you can put the thing to bed you know so it stops nagging you okay but this is usually quite a positive card the universe does like people who will have a go okay that's the first half of the month let's have a look at the second half of the month closing my eyes now yes so i see you opening uh, one of those doors and there's a lot of sunlight on the other side so it was a bright sunny day and there is a lot of green there as well so that is growth and opportunity but it feels more emotional okay rather than you thinking about things it's more about enjoying yourself uh, having some relaxation having you know socializing with people and just enjoying yourself going out uh, in some way anyway all right the card that comes up is the emperor ah well some people like this card i'm not one but some people do because they appreciate the very saturnian qualities of um, stability uh, they know where they are there's a lot of rules you follow the rules and you're safe okay and uh, it doesn't for me it doesn't leave enough um, you know room for my own unique personality uh, but some people don't want to risk things and this actually goes perfectly well with this Saturn in Aquarius in your sign here uh, con uh, all about uh, conservatism caution be cautious uh, so you might step out emotionally uh, in some way uh, and thinking about things at the beginning of the month at the end of the month you become more conservative perhaps okay so these are both major arcanas which is very unusual for two to come out uh, and so this is a key month for you awesome Aquarius quite important Let's get on now uh, with your horoscope. Now, uh, just to point this out, I'll make this a bit bigger so you can see. Okay, remember those two cards there because they'll probably come up. Now, just to point this out, this is the yod or the finger of fate or the finger of God I was talking about. Saturn in Aquarius here in your sign, a moon in Cancer in your everyday life, perhaps your work or health and uh, the sun in Virgo here uh, in your eighth house of intimacy I get the word clean what does that mean I don't know what that's got to do with anything but something to do with eighth house and clean clean up your money affairs perhaps or your joint resources have you split from a partner but you've still got financial things going on with them that need tidying up or cleaning up uh, that's one way of thinking about it but clean does go with Virgo see sun in Virgo uh, because they like to be have everything tidy and neat and so there could be something that needs work there but this energy will certainly help you with that uh, the other leg of this yod here yes the moon in um, cancer in your everyday life a lot of protective nurturing uh, emotional sort of uh, energy around this so uh, it could be you know that you're getting more of a balance between your your thinking and your feeling this month awesome Aries all right so um, 29th of August to the 5th of November sees Mercury in your ninth house up here 
and it is a great time to take a journey uh, to a distant place. A travel and exposure to new ideas is fabulous for you now. You may meet uh, people that are quite different. They could be from another culture and, or they have vastly different beliefs. Philosophical uh, studies or discussions are likely. And you're thinking about the big picture uh, rather than the small little details of life. Now, this is fabulous for growing growing your life and um, getting a bigger picture view of what's going on. But because Mercury is here and going retrograde from the 28th to the 18th of October, do remember that, that things can be misunderstood or miscommunications, okay? Especially with travel, things can run late. You want to allow yourself lots of time if you are traveling. Uh, after say um, the 21st of the month okay and um, then we have 31st to the 3rd Mars conjuncts Mars so this gives you a lot of uh, independent motivation uh, it's time to take the initiative strike out on your own you're likely to have more energy willpower and courage it's a great time to channel your abundant energy into decisive action or vigorous work, but do watch for anger and irritability because sometimes you might be a little bit too impatient. 31st of August to the 3rd of September, Mars opposition Neptune. Uh, look, it can be a bit of a vague and confusing time these few days at the start of the month, but that's all right. Uh, just... Um, you know, try and take some time off and work quietly at home. It's not a good time to promote yourself at the moment. Uh, things are just not going smoothly. Just go quieter and go within. Spend some time uh, on your spiritual life. 4th of September to the 7th of September, Mars trines Pluto. Now things change from the 4th. So first few days you're quieter. Now you've got a lot more energy after the 4th. And you're really moving towards achieving things. It might be a time of uh, sacrifice in some way. You have to get rid of something. Uh, something might have been, whether that be, a, for example, an attitude or a situation or an attachment that's been around you for a while. It's time to release those things so that you can move forward. Major long-term changes to improve your life can be started now. Okay, whether that's self-improvement. Uh, or something to do with your health here because the, uh, the moon in your sixth house indicates it could be health or work as well. Transformation going on. 6th of September sees a new moon in your ninth here. This is like the planting of seeds. You might become interested in going away on a mini vacation or a getaway. Uh, it's time you want to enjoy yourself and see new things, uh, put things into perspective and uh, expand your horizons. 9th of September to the 7th of October, Venus moves into your 10th house of career. Not your everyday work, but the kind of work that makes your heart sing. It's also your reputation and social status. And uh, with Venus there, it's likely that you'll be favorably uh, viewed. It's like uh, people notice you in a positive way. And if you are uh, working or you've got a career superiors or those that are in you know positions higher than you uh, will notice you and uh, you know they could be just paying attention to that it's also likely you'll meet a good friend or someone beautiful or charming through your work and it's a great time to enhance your public standing uh, so 13th of September to the 30th of October, Mars moves into your ninth house here. If you do have a sort of zealous or fanatical streak, it could come out now. Uh, you're likely to defend your convictions or fight for a cause you believe in. And you'll find other people <laughs> are up to the challenge as well. Uh, so yeah, do, do watch for arguments uh, there. There could be a strong desire for action and adventure and travel beckons. Uh, you might also look at an enterprise that's quite challenging, okay? Watch out for dangerous things. It's not a time to go, you know, bungee jumping perhaps. I'll leave that up to you to decide. 19th of September to the 22nd, Mars conjuncts Mercury. Okay, um, it's not the best time 
to be cautious or diplomatic. Now it's difficult to be diplomatic. Uh, so it's because you're likely to be very straightforward and direct in your communications. And uh, that's because your mind is very sharp. Uh, other people may have trouble ca uh, catching up or keeping up with what you're saying or what's going on because they, they just don't have that sharp focus at the moment. It's a great time to attack an intellectual problem rather, rather than people. Very easy on social media because, you know, you see so many things on social media. I just shake my head sometimes. It's really hard. You know, you want, maybe a social media break is called for. Uh, now, I shouldn't be saying that about my channel, but <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, so 20th of September, we'll have the full moon in your third house here, bringing up some sort of transformation. Chiron's also there, uh, and it could be, yeah, watch out if you're promoting yourself or you're marketing or something like that. It might not go too well, and especially when Mercury is retrograde. Chiron brings a wound from the past, perhaps, and, uh, you know, it, this is because your interactions at this time are likely to be uh, emotionally coloured or have emotional considerations behind you, so you might be a bit subjective rather than objective. 21st of September to the 22nd of October, the sun is in your ninth house, shining brightly, radiating, okay? It's fabulous. You want to lift yourself out of your usual mundane concerns. That's what this card is about. Taking a risk, um, getting a larger perspective on life. You seek new vistas and broader horizons through traveling, studying, uh, reading perhaps about spirituality or foreign cultures. You're seeking out people with greater experience and insight. A teacher or a mentor may become particularly important to you now. Okay, so that is your horoscope. Now I'm just going to uh, close my eyes and see what I can see for you Aquarius in September 2021. Doors closing behind me. Uh, nondescript doors like boring, dark doors with boring sort of knob type handles, uh, knobs, doorknobs, uh, and um, I want I get the words they don't mean very much. Things that used to mean things to you, things you thought were important at some point back in your past, are not so important anymore. Doesn't mean that, you know that they're completely out of your life but you're adjusting this whole month is about you adjusting your fate tweaking uh, the direction of your life okay what's this i'm seeing vegetables it's like i'm under is it cauliflower it looks like i'm underneath cauliflower and looking up at the plants and maybe you're thinking about growing <laughs> growing vegetables at the moment that would be really good it's a forest, I get the word forest, but this is sort of enlivening for you. It brings new energy and a sense of growth and vigor and even, you know, a tiny bit of excitement. Who would think that um, cabbage or cauliflower could be exciting? Um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's like I'm in a forest of vegetables, so go for it. Uh, the, this could be about your health that you want to have a self-improvement um, regime and you change your diet or something about like that something like that okay somebody showing me, yeah planting yeah planting vegetables they're pulling out these little punnets of things and planting them okay planting new seeds this might not necessarily be just about your health or the vegetables that you plant but it's planting new seeds for projects and for the way you want your life to go Okay, so what you do today directly reflects what's going to happen in the future. There is a connection, a direct connection, you know, so logical consequences to your actions. Okay, so plant good seeds now that you can nurture that will benefit you down the track. And you know that. Trine, trine. I see triangles and the word trine. Uh, this is perhaps to do with your spiritual life. Uh, the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, the Virgin Mother Crone, uh, the triplicities 
of life. Uh, and so in um, uh, numerology, we have one, which is like you. We have two, which is like the other person. And quite often when the two get together, uh, there, there can be sort of friction, but there can also be passion. And then we have three, and then the three is like an easing of restrictions. It's like you get used to each other and, you, you know, you can compromise on different things. And it's like you're going into a stage of threeness. So the number three is important or three, 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 triplicity uh, is important to you uh, for some reason this month. Sorry, there's workmen just outside here doing things. Sorry if you heard that noise. Okay, so that's it, awesome Aquarius. I hope this is useful for you. Leave me a like uh, or a comment uh, or share on your socials. That would be fabulous. If you are new, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell right now. Have a wonderful month and I'll see you all again soon. Pisces is the next horoscope. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.